Hello friends. So in this session, we are going to learn squaring any two digit number. Okay, so let us say if I have to multiply or, or rather find out the square of 63. So the conventional method is you multiply 63 and like this. So this is nothing but 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 16 is 18. And then you, sh you, do, you do 6 times 3 is 18, carry 1. And 6 times 6 is 36, so 37. And then you add, so it becomes 3, 9, 6, 9. Right? This is one way of doing it. Now I'll tell you another technique of doing it in your mind itself. Right? So what you do is you first find out step one is nearest. Find out the nearest multiple of 10. Multiple of 10. So what is the nearest multiple of 10 to 60 is? So we'll also take example case here. So here in this case the nearest multiple is 60. Okay. And then find out gap between between the number the number and the nearest multiple of 10 and the nearest multiple of of 10 so what is the nearest uh, gap between 63 and 60 so you do this 63 minus 60 is equal to 3 okay now third is third step is third step is multiply the nearest multiple of so uh, let us call this as factor or uh, factor okay now what you need to do is multiply multiply the nearest multiple of multiple of 10 by by number plus factor okay so in this case what will it be it will be 60 into 63 plus 3 isn't it so it is nothing but 60 into 66 now multiplying this is mentally is much easier why because you can do it in your mind itself so it is if you see it is nothing but 6 into 6 is 36 carry 3 and then 3 9 6 0 isn't it this is easier to calculate now what third fourth is uh, add add factor squared factor squared to the number obtained 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 in step 3 okay add factor squared to the number obtained in step 3 so what will it be so here in this case it will be 3960 plus factor square is 9. So answer is 3969. Okay. Let us take another example to understand this. So let us say we have to multiply 22 square. Okay. So the nearest multiple of 10 step 1 is 20. Then gap between the number and the nearest multiple. So 22 minus 20 is 2. Then third, multiply the nearest multiple of 10. So that is 20 into 24, which is nothing but 4, 4, 4, 8, 0. Isn't it? And then the fourth one is 2 square plus 4, 8, 0 is 4, 84. Correct? Let us take another example. 71 square. So first step is first multiple of uh, 10. Nearest multiple is 70. The gap is 71 minus 70 is 1 correct and then third is multiply 70 into 72 which is nothing but 75040 uh, is it at 5040 and then fourth is add 1 square to 5040 which is 5041 okay let us take some more examples to make it more clear so let us say if the number is 89 i have to find out 89 square so first step, nearest multiple is 90. Then the gap 89 minus 90 is equal to negative 1. Okay. Third, what do you need to do? 90 into 89 minus 1. That is 88, which is nothing but 7920. Okay. And then fourth is add minus 1 square to it. Add minus 1 
square to it, which is nothing but minus one square is minus one, uh, one only, so it is seven nine two one. Right. Another example. Let us say we have to find out seventy eight square. First step, you know, it is eighty. Second step is minus two. Third is eighty into seventy six, which is um six zero eight zero, and then plus minus two square to this six zero eight zero is six zero eight four. So though I am using pen and paper here. But uh, if you practice a little bit more, you'll be able to solve it mentally itself. And while solving lots of numerical problems or during the exams, wherever you want to do this quick squaring thing, you don't really require to write it on a piece of paper and then get the result. You can do it mentally and proceed further with uh, different calculations. I hope uh, this technique uh, was useful for you. Thank you.